So today we're going to look at how we draw arrays. Yesterday you were practicing reading them. Today we're going to have a look at how we can use them to solve a multiplication sentence. I'm going to write my multiplication sentence first. And the sentence I'm going to be writing is 3 times 5. So now that tells me how many rows and columns I'm going to need. So now I'm going to draw three columns of five dots. I'm just going to use dots today to represent my items. So I'm going to do one column, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I know how many is in each of my columns, so I'm going to be counting in fives. So now I can use my times table knowledge to count 5, 10, 15. Now I know the answer to my multiplication sentence. And counting in fives is much quicker than me counting in ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Can you see how much longer that took? Let's see it again, me counting in fives. 5, 10, 15. That's why we can use arrays to help us answer multiplication sentences much more quickly and efficiently.